let's consider the situation for a vertical spring mass system. What's different here is at equilibrium, the spring is going to be stretched, not like the case of a horizontal spring mass system. It's going to be stretched because the mass is going to be exerting a force that's going to stretch the spring by a certain amount. And we can find that amount by writing mg is equal to kx in magnitude for that equilibrium position. Now I'm not involved in oscillation. Uh, so mg is equal to kx. To solve for x is equal to mg over k. So we are going to call that amount of stretching of the spring d. At equilibrium, our spring mass system is going to be such that the spring is stretched by an amount d. So for that position, as the spring oscillates, it's going to have a spring potential energy in it. So different from the horizontal spring mass system, at the equilibrium position, we are going to have spring potential energy. It's one half of kd squared. For now, since it's a vertical system, we are going to also have gravitational potential energy involved. However, if we choose the equilibrium position as the position of reference for the gravitational potential energy, then we can have our GPE equal to zero there. The kinetic energy is going to still be the maximum kinetic energy, one half of m v m squared. So the mechanical energy is going to be the sum of all three, spring potential energy, one half of kd squared, gravitational potential energy, zero at this point, plus one half of m v m squared. Now, what about if the mass it's at a position y relative to equilibrium. Notice here I'm using my origin here at the equilibrium position, and positive y values are upwards. Negative y values are downwards. The math is going to be the same, whether y is up or down, the math is going to be the same. So if the spring mass system is at a position y relative to equilibrium, then my spring potential energy is going to be one half of k times the amount of stretching of the spring. But this is the amount of stretching of the spring. This amount. That distance. What's that distance? It is d minus y. Notice if our mass is here, d minus y is going to be this overall distance. Since y is going to be negative, d minus y is going to be a number that's bigger than d. So this is going to work as well. So my spring potential energy is one half of k d minus y squared. The gravitational potential energy, it's mgy, mgh, remember that's the expression. And kinetic energy, it's one half of mb squared. So my mechanical energy is the sum of all these three. When y is at a maximum, the spring mass system oscillating at the amplitude, A, then my spring potential energy is one half of K D minus A, which is replaced y by A, the gravitational potential energy mg A, but then for the maximum values, that's when the mass is going to temporarily stop. So my kinetic energy is going to be zero. So my overall mechanical energy is again the sum of all three, one half of k d minus a squared plus mg a plus zero. So again, the equilibrium position is what I have in green here, one half of k d squared plus zero plus one half of m v m squared. At any position y relative to equilibrium, it is one half of k d minus y squared plus mgy plus one half of mb squared. And then k 
at the maximum position when y is equal to the amplitude this is one half of k d minus h squared plus mga when we write the conservation of mechanical energy for example we write the equilibrium position equal to the position when we have maximum displacement one half of kd squared plus one half of mbm squared is equal one half of k d minus a squared plus mga okay we factor this out d minus a squared so that's what we get here and then you notice these terms here cancel we have one half of kd squared here and we have one half of kd squared here and we are left with one half of bm squared to the left and then this two here gets uh, gets rid of the half so i have minus k ad plus this a squared term here is one half of k a squared plus mga Now, remembering that Vmax should be equal to A squared omega, uh, I mean Vmax is A omega, so Vm squared is going to be A squared omega squared, so that's what we have, one half of A squared K over M, so that actually the M cancels here, that cancels this. So what do we have? Minus KED plus MGA. So we write them equal to each other. So that says KD is equal to MG. That's very much what we wrote here as the equilibrium position. Remember, I didn't express it in terms of E here, but I talked about it in terms of E. So things work well. And we can write it uh, like we write the conservation of mechanical energy, uh, mechanical energy for horizontal spring mass systems. We just have to be careful to account for gravitational potential energy.